Ew, I'm drinking it like a drink and tasting it. What a paparazzi. Watch you how you like it, bitches. Hibachi. Oh. I wrote one of my favorite songs while making a smoothie. So I should just do like freestyles and smoothie sessions. Tell myself I'm fine when I know I'm really not. You wanna see what's online? That's really not a lie. What's up, three percent gang? It's London and Kush. He wants to leave me already. You can just two seconds. And you're on London time. I'm surprised no one asked me the question. Why do I always do the peace sign? Probably an unanswerable question because I actually have no idea. Before I start the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 100k subscribers. That's insane. That's insane. I know I've already said this in a couple past videos, but that's insane. I did a poll to see what you guys would want for the 100k special. You guys said a song, so I released a song. So for those of you who wanted to hear the song or if you didn't know or whatever, I don't know, link in the description for that as well as my other music. And I also wanted to do something else as well. So I asked if you guys wanted me to react to subscribers' music or if you wanted me to do a Q&A. And the Q&A won by like only 10%, so not much. So I will be doing both. But this video, since the Q&A won, will be the Q&A. I'm gonna answer these questions in like sections because there was a lot of questions. So I'm gonna put the time stamp whatever of the sections in the description if you just want to skip forward because you don't care about other sections or whatever. I'm gonna start with some just random questions that people ask that don't really stick into a category. Just to warm it up, just to get it going, you know what I mean? You gotta have the small talk first. Then I'm gonna be talking about like all music related questions and then just questions about my life and me and the future and all that good stuff. A unicorn. They're pretty as long as they don't like stab you or anything. The only other one I could think of is a Loch Ness monster and I'm not really down with those. I mean, who knows? They could be more friendly. I don't know. I'm really bad at this. Oh. This is embarrassing. I don't know why I decided to do this. There's no point to this. This is just me saying that I'm 21. <clears throat> Ew, I'm drinking it like a drink and tasting it. Like, how do you do shots? Okay. Oh. Could have just stuck with I'm 21, but it's fine. Now you guys know another part of me. I'm bad at taking shots. I can't take shots. I can't do it. My favorite drink is a smoothie. I could drink smoothies for morning, for lunch, for dinner, for dessert, for snacks, all day long. And I'm the best smoothie maker. I'm better than Jamba Juice at making smoothies. Christmas, because it reminds me of family, and warmth, and happiness, and food, and more food because cookies. Yes, I have. When I was in second or third grade, uh, a babysitter was taking my brother and I home from school and she slammed on the brakes in a puddle. And so she slammed into the car in front of her and it ended up being like a 10 car thing. And our car got totaled, the window shattered, freaking airbags came out. We were the only car that was really messed up. I think there was one other one, but it wasn't too bad. Everyone lived, there was no very serious injuries, so. That's good. Yes. Yes, I do. I love every single one of you. Except for the ones that are telling me to do porn because no, no, that's disrespectful. But the rest of you, I freaking love every single one of you. Every single person that supports me, thank you. I would rather have fingers as toes. It might look weird, but think about it. You could do more things then. Imagine having toes as fingers. I hate feet. I actually hate feet. I don't say hate a lot. I hate feet. Berlin or Cologne. And that's because those are the only places I've been to in Germany. It was a really long time ago. But I remember loving it a lot. Especially because I was younger. And you can do more things there than you can in America. So it was just really fun. And it's just everyone was super nice. No. No cuddling with my cat because when he does that it's just like he's the cutest thing ever or waking up next to my boyfriend if you knew me before having a boyfriend I'm, i was like <gasps> now i'm like never been into that love shit but you got me sprung quick 
overdosing on your drug, overdosing on your love. Now on to the music questions. My favorite. I got asked this question a lot, probably more than any other question. Some of them in different ways, but they all have the same answer and the same story, basically. I've been in love with music my entire life. Even when I was little and still needed a baby monitor and was in a crib, my parents told me that they would hear me sing myself to sleep every single night with random songs that I would come up with. And I grew up in a house that had lots of different kinds of music going on. My aunt, who would be listening to a lot of any type of rap with me. Too Short being her favorite. So she was like the Bay Area rap. My mom was like the old school rap and heavy metal and rock and all that. And then my dad was just everything random that's not those two things. Literally, you could think of anything and we listened to it. And then growing up, I went through different phases of music. I even had a little bit of a, a country phase. <laughs> that was the shortest phase of them all, but still had it. But I would constantly come back to rap and hip hop, and that was just what I loved the most. And I also grew up doing a lot of musicals and singing and being in little singing groups. And it was just always a passion and something that I liked, but I never thought that I could actually make it further than just that because I never had the voice, the Beyonce, Ariana Grande, all those crazy, amazing vocal voices. And when I was little, my best friend, mom's best friend told me that basically like my voice was too deep and that I sound a lot older than I am, that it was weird and that I should sound my normal age and like normal. And I was just like, okay. And kind of then I realized like I can never do this music thing, but whatever. And I was a little kid, so I didn't know any better. And that kind of like crushed my dreams there. But I feel like with this new wave of rappers and everything, there's just so many different sounds coming out. There's the rap rock, emo rock, emo rap. I can't even name every single thing, but there's just a lot coming out. And I remember being in the studio with an artist and my friends and the engineer looking over and saying, have you ever thought about doing music? You have the look for it. Why haven't you, have you ever thought about it? And it kind of just triggered something in my mind. I was like, you know what, why not? That's actually something that I always think of, but then never think that I can actually do it. And this engineer telling me that he thinks that I should do it without even hearing my voice saying, it doesn't matter about your voice. We can make you sound good, blah, 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 blah. I was just like, yeah, I just need to find my sound. So like that night, I literally started finding my sound. I didn't know how to write lyrics either. Well, at least I didn't think that I could write lyrics because I've always thought that I was a bad writer. And so I went home and I was like, okay, I just gotta believe in myself and I can do it. And then one day I just started writing lyrics and I just didn't stop writing lyrics and I continued writing them and I just didn't ever stop. Fun fact, I actually started making music and writing and doing all that before I started my YouTube. So for those of you guys who say, not every YouTuber should be making music. Well, first of all, they should if they want to. Maybe that's something that they really wanted to do. I don't know. Let them do what they want to do. Is it hurting you? Then just don't listen to their music. Second of all, I started actually making music before this. So yeah, that's what inspired me to make music, the engineer and certain artists that have come out, specifically Trippy Red, because his voice was just so different and his sound was just so different and he was doing so something so different with his voice and I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I can do something cool with my voice, what the heck? So I started. Before I actually went to the studio, lots of beat finding, going through thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of beats, because beats to me is the most important part of the song. If you have a bad beat, it doesn't matter how good your lyrics are. It doesn't matter how good you sound. Like. You need a good beat, in my opinion, because that's what's the most important to me when I'm listening to music. That's what makes or breaks a song to me. Everyone's different in their preferences, but that's me. And then also just writing a lot, trying to write a lot. Whenever I was in the car, I'd be writing. My strategy for my first song was good beat, a couple of strong lines, a good hook, and I listened to the songs that I made over and over and over and over and over again. And I had everyone I know listen to it, give me criticism, help me change things. I wanted my songs to be really good. I didn't just wanna put stuff out. So I sat on my first song, slash I'm sitting on a lot of songs right now, for months and months and months before actually releasing one that I was happy with, that I wanted to release. So yeah, I'm one of those artists that sits on things for a long time. <laughs> out of the songs that I've made and written, my favorite song is actually not out yet. That's because the first songs that I wanted to put out or more so for being catchy and stuff that you want to hear rather than some deeper 
meanings because I don't really know how to make those catchy. I'm learning, I'm learning. But I have some songs that I've made that have like really deep, important meanings to myself. So those ones are my favorite. You guys will hear them soon. I'm gonna put them on uh, EP or mixtape. I gotta sit on it, I gotta perfect it. But definitely by the end of the year, okay? You can hold me to that, I think. Yeah, so a weakness of mine is if I'm not really good at something right away, I don't like it. Unless I'm really passionate about it. I tried doing violin, guitar, piano, drums. I feel like there's more, not sure, but I pretty much quit after like a couple weeks or a couple months because I wasn't like a professional at it yet. So I was like, no, I'm over this. Can you freestyle? Let's find a beat. I want something slower or like more, let me see. Yeah, I like this one. 3%. I'm self-destructive. Don't know what love is. I'm too corrupt. Don't know what trust is. Tell myself I'm fine when I know I'm really not You wanna see what's online, that's really not a lie Everything's dead inside, yet I feel so alive I ask myself why, why, why Nothing really speaks except the voices in my head to me No words don't mean a thing, no they might as well be dead to me Wanted to believe everything that you said to me But actions speak a lot and you never said a thing to me You never said a thing to me and you never said a thing to me To me To me To me It's funny when you grow the less you start to know And the more you start to realize It's more than what you see I this world will make it better It makes it better And this world is full of sinners It's full of sinners trying to find a bigger purpose but just the purpose So I'm searching around each corner But all I find is dead ends, dead trends Never ends, never ends, and never ends, and never ends. Starting to think there's no such thing as a good person, only good on the surface. Most of y'all cold motherfuckers, most of y'all hardest motherfuckers. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I lost it there, but I feel like that was long enough of a freestyle. Oh! Remember how I said smoothies earlier? I should make something with smoothies? I wrote one of my favorite songs while making a smoothie. So I should just do like freestyles and smoothie sessions. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of questions regarding my favorite artists. And just know that with all of these categories basically that I answer, I know that I'm gonna forget like 100 names. Old school. Number one on the list is Tupac and Eminem. They're all time, all time, all time favorites ever and then the rest is like no particular order e40 too short mac dre britney spears clyde carson papa roach afro man baby bash right now what am i listening to what are my favorites at the moment juice world yg tyga like his old stuff though rj aka mr la ludfo keyglock young dolph 21 savage lil skies tso tato dc the dawn molly brazy kevin gates T Grizzly, Choi Av, Shy Glizzy, Skepta, Ty Dolla Sign, Black Bear, Vince Staples, Money Bag Yo. Those are like the ones that speak English, I guess. For the German, it would probably be, it's honestly all the ones that I listen to on my channel, but Luciano, Capital Bra, Ufo, anyone from 187, Raf. I pretty much like them all, to be honest. I don't put things on my channel if I don't really like the music. Jaeger, Roli, and Hawaii by Luciano, and then Ten Jah Jah here. I think I said that wrong, but it's fine. By 187. Those are like my all time babes. I don't understand anything, which is why I look up the lyrics. I kind of like not being able to understand. I can still get the vibe. I can make up the own my own lyrics in my head. I like vibes of songs more than anything else. That's why beats are so important to me. My favorite song changes every single day. Sometimes I have five favorite songs in a day, but at this very moment in time. Hey, yes, I'm so bad with a paparazzi. Watch how you like your bitches, hibachi. I love I'm 
damn, fuck it up from the back, check it up. I'm so cocky from my shot. Too cocky. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of breath. And I have my cat's hair on my mouth now. I have a couple. It depends what kind of reaction you're looking for. When it comes to watching a reaction, because they're really funny and entertaining, Lael, Zayas, and I'm Dante. And then when it comes to going really in depth with their reaction, Sean C, if I said that right. So I kind of talked about it in the beginning when I was talking about like what made me get into music. And yeah, just growing up in a house where I was constantly listening to music and all different kinds of music, the feeling it gives you, how it lets you escape from things. It makes me a little bit more sane, even though I'm far from that. That's why I love music. That's what made me like music. So, fun fact, I started YouTube like five times, twice in seventh grade. So one was with my friend and we tried to like start doing little skits and stuff stopped after one night and then another time started doing covers and then again freshman year and then again in college with friends we kind of just stopped it and then when I started wanting to make music um, I wanted to also build an audience for the music and I was like okay I should do it around music I should do it around people that like music what could I do and I was like I should do reactions because I react every day in life. Whenever I'm hearing a song, I'm like, did you hear that part? Or like, what about blah, blah, blah. But they could give less of a shit about it. So it's cool that I now have an audience that actually cares. So I should have started doing that a long time ago. Do it to an audience. So then that's what made me start YouTube and get into YouTube stuff and everything like that and actually be consistent with it. My biggest goal in life is to help animals in any way possible that I can because animals are just my favorite thing ever. They don't have any ulterior motives. They just want food, water, and attention, love. They just need to be protected at all costs because humans are destroying everything. I really want to vlog and spread awareness with everything that has to do with animals because lots of people don't know some of the things that happens and it's freaking horrible and it needs attention. Kush would be the answer to this question. Sorry, Didi. I'm obsessed with traveling and my dream place to go is pretty much anywhere. I really wanna to go to Italy. I've been a lot of places in Europe, but I do wanna go again. Basically anywhere tropical. Australia, even though I'm really scared of bugs. So my whole life, I've gone through a lot of phases of what I wanna do, but it all came back to entertainment, but I never thought I could really do that. So my leg. This is what I want to do in life. When I grew up, I wanted to be a doctor at first and then I realized that I hated blood, so that was out. I wanted to be a makeup artist. I wanted to be a venture capitalist. You need money to do that, couldn't do that. I will do that one day maybe on the side. And I wanted to produce films and festivals and things like that. But like I said, I wanted to be an entertainer throughout it all, mainly in music. I feel more comfortable on camera and on stage than just regular if that makes sense. Yes, I plan on coming to Germany for sure. Uh, most of my support is in Germany as a lot of you guys are probably from Germany that are watching this, which is really awesome. When I was there, I really loved it and I do definitely 100% plan on going there once I have the funds right now. I'm a broke college girl, but you know, once I get there, which I will, I'm gonna be definitely coming to Germany. That's like one of the first places that I want to travel to. So be ready. The best decision I ever made in my life besides getting my cat was probably following my dreams. I feel like one day I realized, okay, do I want to grow up and just have been in a job because it was comfortable and I knew that I would succeed at it, but it was not something that I loved doing or pursue something that I love doing and I'm really passionate about, even if it doesn't pay that much at first and I have to work extra hard to get it. Like I'd rather work for myself and do what I love doing rather than taking the easy route, even if I would make potentially more money or I didn't have to work as hard and less hours and blah, 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 whatever. It's fine because I love doing it and I'm passionate about it. Last question. No, but I might have another child soon, meaning an animal, because not trying to have kids for like seven, eight, ten years. If you watch this whole thing, wow, because I feel like this video is going to be really long with lots of questions, but thank you. Thank you for watching. Even if you didn't watch the whole thing and you fast forwarded this part, I appreciate you. Thank you. Once again, thank you for 100k subs and make sure to check out the song. I'll put the link in the bio, as well as all my other songs. I'll put those links in the bio as well. And thank you all for being a part of my journey. 
in this thing called life. Who knows what it is, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, 30% gang, a Lolo and Kush. He's sleeping. Ow. Inhale, exhale, head rushing. I'm rushing to the next high. I'm reaching for the sky. Need to clarify why do I even try? Why do I